Welcome back to the channel. Most of you guys are facing issue particularly to this lab. Here is the updated solution guide for it. But before we start, make sure you understand that for this lab, we need GitHub. Okay, we need GitHub. We have to create an account. If you need a detailed video how to create it, I'll make it. Do not worry. Now in simple words, you have to click on sign up and enter all your details. You can sign up with Google also directly or if you already have an account, just simply sign in over here. Okay, just sign in over here. And sometimes you may get some codes, so you have to verify. Now, if I've already completed this lab, then first of all, come to your profile section and the repository section. So we have to delete all these repositories, okay? Because if we just try to complete the lab directly, we'll face some issues. So just come to the settings, scroll down a bit. And if you're doing it for the first time, just skip this part from the lab start. So just copy it from here to here and just delete it. Similarly, do it for the same over here. Come over here, go to the bottom, delete the repository, and copy this from here to here, and just paste it, and just delete it. So we have successfully deleted our repository. If you just refresh over here, you can see we don't have any repository. Now let's come to the lab instruction, and first of all, click on Start Lab. Now, just right click and open the Cloud Console Incognito window. Here it is getting signed in, so just wait for it. If you get any kind of pop up, just click on I understand and like this, click on I understand. Now you will get another pop up, just click on I agree, agree and continue. Close this from here and simply click on leave. Now just activate your Cloud Shell. Now please follow and watch the video till the end, otherwise, you will get incomplete score and you won't be able to get 100 out of 100. So first of all, click on continue. And after that, you have to simply authorize yourself. Now, once this is done, let me increase the text size. Okay, now the text size has been successfully increased. Now in the description box of this video, I've shared this repository. You have to scroll down, come over here, copy it and just paste over here and hit enter. Now this will take at least 10 to 20 minutes for completing. First of all, it will create the cluster and do all the remaining tasks. After that, we have to modify some of the things. One more important thing here, we have to authenticate ourselves with the GitHub also. So stay tuned and watch it till the end. So now this is cluster is being created. It will take around 10 to 20 minutes, maybe less or more, depending on the lab environment and resources. So wait for it. After that, we have to sign in with the GitHub. This is the most crucial step. So stay tuned till the end. I am just skipping this part means we'll be meeting after 10 to 20 minutes. Now from here, please pay attention to each and every step. Now just hit enter, hit enter again. Type Y, hit enter, hit enter again, and do one more thing. Just hit enter and just click on this link. Now here you have to simply sign in with your GitHub account. If it asks, you have to simply just enter the details and just sign in. Okay, I've already signed in, so I will click on continue directly. And here it's asking the code. Okay, so it's being displayed on the cloud shell. Just simply right click, I mean, just drag your mouse cursor from here to here carefully and just paste over here and just click on continue. Sometimes you may get some pop up that you have to verify yourself for two factor authentication. Just check your mail and just fill the code. After that, just follow like this. Now here, just click on authorize. All things are successfully done. Okay. Now this is successfully done and here you'll see that we are signed in successfully and all the things are working now wait for this command to get executed and all tasks are done after that we have to do some manual steps also so stay tuned till the end now here you can see all these things are done now just come over here and from here just search rigors okay you can see this cloud build page you can just click on it just click on got it now from here please follow carefully okay just click on create trigger, remove this, come to the lab instruction first of all. Okay, now we have to create a trigger. So just come over here and wait for a second. If you want to check the score, you can check the score too. You will not get full score because we have to do some of the steps manually too. Okay, 
So simply come to task number four. For here, just copy this name. Okay, just copy this name, paste over here. And for the region, we'll select the region as per the lab instruction, whatever is mentioned over here. You have to select from this drop down. Okay. And then we have to just click on push to branch and shorts will be connect to repository. Okay. First generation repository. And here we have to connect a new repository. Just click on it. Select GitHub. Continue. It will just authenticate. Maybe it will show some pop up also. And after that, we have to authenticate ourselves. So just wait here. Uh, it is showing directly my GitHub name. Sometimes it may ask to install you cloud build over here. So here uh, install button will be listed over here. You have to click on it and get it installed. Now from here we have to select the app one. Okay, just select the app one. I repeat here directly. If you are not seeing your GitHub account, simply do one thing just here one more option will be shown over here that to install the github i mean github not cloud build so you have to click on install after that you'll be able to see your account now just click on i understand and simply connect it it will take some time finally just select it now for branch we have to select any branch they have mentioned a uh, push to branch okay this thing is done any branch okay we have to select any branch and then we have to select the file to be. Let me just do it. Okay. This thing is done, right? So like this, we selected this. Now we have to come over here and just select cloud build. Now the file name you can closely verify from the lab instruction too. This is our file name okay it's correct if it is so just come down and just simply select the service account you have to select this service account and at last just click on create now wait for it to get created now we have to create another trigger just come down over here okay just come down and now we have to create another trigger so just name it again we have to repeat the same steps the region will be same as per the lab instruction and this thing we have to do just come over here and for the repository we have to select a different repository just connect it continue it will be authenticating itself if it asks to authorize yourself you have to simply click on authorize now select the second one env1 okay now this thing is done. Just click on I understand connect. Wait for it. Okay, this is also done. Now carefully do all the things. Now here we have to have a different branch name candidate. So just copy it from here. Just copy it. And paste it like this and just do it like this. Now from here just select cloud build. It will be cloud build your yaml file again and we have to select configure uh, sorry compute engine as service account this one okay all things are correct just click on create now both of these are being created wait for some time so now some important thing you have to click on run okay while clicking on run you have to just make sure it's in master branch okay so make it master and just click on run trigger now again for the second one one mistake most of you guys may make that you will be running directly in the run trigger using the candidate branch you have to simply update it to master branch and then just run trigger now once you click on this run option and you can see it started to deploy okay just come to the history page you can see these triggers are being deployed okay now if you come to the lab instruction and let's see whether we get the score or not so actually you can see I have got the score. Why I got the score? Because I have completed that part completely. Now you have to wait for all these triggers to get completed. Okay. In your case, once you see all these triggers are in green check mark, then you can just check the score. You'll get the score. If you're not getting the score, what you can do, you can click on this build particularly and just click on retry build. Similarly, whatever build is getting failed, you have to retry it. One more important thing, whatever we are doing in your 
personal github repository do not use the lab repository that means i have completed the lab do like the video and subscribe the channel guys have a great day ahead